Hello Leo, how are you? My name is Renee, welcome to my channel. And this is your June 2021 reading. This is for all of you, or any of you, who have a Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising Sign. And we are going to start off with the tarot to see what's coming in, what's going out, and what is going on in June. So first out for you, we have the Queen of Coins. We have the Eight of Wands. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Ten of Cups. And we have the Two of Swords. Okay, so let's take a look at these cards. So first we have the Queen of Coins. I'm gonna draw a few cards on her. This is a female, female energy. Um, usually an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but could be an aspect of you if you're if it has to do with you and your money, etc. So let's see what other cards I get on top of that. All right, we have the devil there. We have the nine of cups. This card's all about wishes coming true. Interesting. Hmm. Very interesting. I'm trying to get a handle on what this could be. So this can be desires, secret desires, okay. So I feel like this is probably an aspect of yourself. And one of your secret desires has to do with finances. Um, it's a wish, right? Something to do with money. This is kind of saying that this wish will come true. It's a materialistic wish. It's probably having to do with finances, money, um, some kind of income, a financial wish coming true. I'm going to do one more card on there just to see if I can clarify. All right, Nine of Wands. And Nine of Wands tells me that this is all about you feeling secure. So that's what this is. This is money coming in from somewhere. It could be a surprise. I mean, this might not even be income. This might be some money coming in out of nowhere, like where you least expect it, um, or something you didn't even know was coming to you, such as you being the beneficiary in someone's will, and you didn't know them that well. I mean, something like that. It's kind of uh, outside of the box, I would say. But it definitely allows you to feel more financially secure is what I'm getting. For some of you it could be some kind of court ruling that happens in your favor if it has to do with money. We have the Eight of Wands, we have the Eight of Cups on top of that, and we have the Knight of Swords. Okay. So the Eight of Wands is all about action, doing something quickly. And the Eight of Cups is leaving that which no longer serves you. All right, and it's kind of saying you're doing that quickly. You're doing that um, kind of out of the blue. You're just you're deciding to leave something or someone. I'm gonna draw one more card. Let's see what I get. Yeah, we have strength. Another another action card, more or less. I'm gonna do one more. Okay, there's the emperor. All right, so it's. It's going to be different for everyone, but for some of you, this is definitely you're leaving a job. For others of you, you are leaving a relationship. This could stand for a person in that case. Um, but whatever it is, you decide very quickly and very suddenly to leave because it is no longer serving you, whether it's the relationship or this work situation. Some of you, it could be kind of demoting yourself, like maybe you took a position as a, a manager and it's just too much for you to handle. You really don't want that many responsibilities. So you decided, you're deciding to go, you know, down a step where you were before. It was a little bit too more than you could handle. You, you know, you took on more than you could uh, chew. You bit into too much, too, more than you could chew. Do you know what I mean? So it's, it's action and making a move or a change and leaving something because it doesn't serve you well. We have that Six of Chalices, which is a nostalgia card with the Chariot. And that Ten of Cups as well. I feel like these all kind of go together. Um, 
this is nostalgia and this is getting together with family. I mean, it could be your soul family or very close friends, but I feel like this is taking possibly a road trip to see family or friends, people you haven't seen in quite a while. So it looks like there's a little bit of a road trip happening here. We've got the Two of Swords. Now this is a choice card. So we're gonna see what you have to choose from. Usually for me, it's two paths. One of them is the Hanged Man, and one of them is the Seven of Coins, which has to do with saving money. We've got the Six of Coins, has to do with charity. I feel like that goes there. And the Ace of Wands, okay. So the choice has to do with you giving or loaning someone money or helping someone in some way, you're bending over backwards to aid them or help them. And the other path has to do with you starting something new, such as your own business or your own creative thing, your own little shop online or something like that where you're investing in yourself. So this path is helping someone else and this is investing in yourself. So there's a sense of you having a little bit extra income here and you have a few choices um, on what you can do with this extra money. All right, I'm gonna draw from a different tarot deck now and see what else we get. So we have the star, that's a wish card. I love that, wish coming true, king of swords. This could have to do with um, getting together or reuniting with this person. King of Swords is usually an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, sometimes military, sometimes intellectual. And the lovers. Okay, so in the, I was feeling like it was romantic because we didn't get much romance with the first deck. This is definitely a romance, okay? If you're not in a relationship, this person is coming in. If you are in a relationship, then this person is really making an effort to be romantic, to spend time alone with you, to get to know you better, and it looks like it's off to a really good start. Could be a very healthy relationship. We also have the magician for you. This is you being the master of your trade. All four elements are in balance. So that's a really good kind of omen for your work situation. It looks like you would do very well in your job. And here is more travel, kind of validating what I was talking about here with the chariot and getting together with family or friends. This is definitely pointing to you taking some kind of a trip. I feel like there's a, there's a road trip in June and then this would be planning for something else. There's a little bit more distance with this one. Could be a cruise, could be, um, flying you know, on a plane and going somewhere where there's a lot of water, like a beachy area or tropical area. I feel like that trip's being planned in June and the road trip's what actually happens in June. And we also have the Four of Cups. This is all about feeling uh, a little bit of discontent, a little bit bored, you know, something you're not too happy with. You're bored, essentially. And we have the Ace of Coins, wow. So this Ace of Coins definitely goes along with all of this at the very beginning. This is money coming in from some possibly unforeseen source, and this is just validating that for me. I wanna see what this Four of Cups is, or what it has to do with. Okay, all right. There's a little bit of discontent, a little bit of pain. Okay, happens quickly. You know what, I feel for many of you, this has to do with your health. There's some kind of health issue or a flare up. For some of you, I feel it's autoimmune. For some of you, I feel it is a back issue, literally, and this could point to some type of back procedure or surgery or a chiropractic adjustment with the back specifically. So keep that in mind for June. Is there anything else I need to tell you with the tarot cards? I'm gonna draw one or two more. 
So we do have the Four of Coins here. This card is all about stability, financial stability. And the Seven of Cups is telling you that there's going to be many options for you. I feel like this is more emotional. So the options have to do with choices in love and choices in trips for fun and that type of thing. So there's lots of options coming your way in June. Let's see what I can get for you with some oracle cards. So here's the first deck. What else do you need to know? My Leo friends. Trust. I feel like this has to do with the relationship more than anything else. Trust in love. And we have financial health. Absolutely. That's the main theme of this reading with that Ace of Coins and all the other coin cards. Financial health is a big deal. It's a big theme for you in June. Leo. Let's see what I get for you with the Intuitive Inspiration cards. So it says slow down. Maybe you're doing too much, too quickly. Take your time. Make sure things are done right. Slow down. Take a walk. Meditate. And let's see what else I can tell you with a different deck here. Let me just shuffle it a little bit. What else do my Leo friends need to know for June? The seer. Follow your intuition. Absolutely. It's not going to steer you wrong in the month of June. Listen to it. Follow it. You can really hone in on that by slowing down and meditating. And it's going to be a great tool for you to navigate throughout this month. Let's see which color goddess casting cards we get for you for this month. So first we have Plum. Choices, decisions, and options. You can see in this um, illustration that there are two paths here, just like I was talking about over here with the Two of Swords, the two choices there that have to do with your finances. So there are choices, decisions, and options. Also, this card is about many options that you get to choose from. We have Salmon, Obstacles, Perseverance, and Persistence. This card is all about persevering throughout. No matter what obstacles are thrown in your way, you have the power and the ability to persevere. Remember that and know that throughout the month. So I want you to think of a yes or no question. And I'm going to draw one of these cards, which will answer that question. If you need to pause the video, go ahead. And the answer to your question is yes. And your last message is you are loved by all who come in contact with you, Leo. I don't doubt it. I love my Leos. You are loved by all who come in contact with you. And your wish answer is yes. So it looks like there's some unforeseen financial, let's call it a windfall coming in for you. There's a love interest coming in. There's some reunions happening with friends, family, most likely family, where you're traveling, taking a road trip. Maybe it's a literal reunion. And we have a choice here with your money. There's a choice or choices you have to make about your money. Many options are opening up before you. Trust your intuition. Slow down. Know that you can overcome those obstacles that are going to be in your path. There's not too many of them. Little bumps in the road, all right? Have a great month, Leo. I'll see you next time. Bye.